Hi, I'm Jason from America. I'm Mia from London. Actually, I'm going to London soon. Oh, really? I am. Do you have any suggestions of what I should bring with me? Your passport. And Check. your toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush, oh, okay. So they don't sell toothbrushes there. <laughs> yeah, they do, but um, the one thing I know when I'm traveling is I always have to bring a converter. Because oh. in England we use 240 volts. Oh, for the outlets? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So make sure you bring a converter mm -hmm. or adapter. Yeah, we usually use 110, 60 hertz. Oh, really? We do. Uh -huh. Does it mean that if you're using less volts, the electricity is not that much that you use? Maybe that's why London's so expensive. We Maybe. use too much of everything. Maybe. Yes. Maybe I shouldn't go. No, 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 no. Okay, go. I'll go. Okay, go. I'll and go. And then bring a couple of converters. I'll bring this. 240. Cool. Thank you for that. I was about to go without it. Thank oh. You. Learn something new every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>the topic for today the topic for today is houses okay words dealing with houses around houses okay just yeah. all about houses sure no problem okay let's do it let's go for the first one the first one being a backyard <laughs> <laughs> a backyard like the back of the house right yes yeah. back of the house but we call this garden a garden it's a garden we don't call it garden. We plant a garden in the backyard. Gardening is actually very, you know, a lot of people just do it. Mm -hmm. also, it looks like a garden, usually. The Does whole it? thing? Yes. In my backyard, we had a small little section where we planted stuff in there, some, gar some flowers here and there. We also had uh, a swing set in my backyard. Yes. A yes, trampoline. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a tree house. Yeah. So the whole thing is just a backyard. What about the front of the house? What do you call that? We call it front yard. Backyard, oh, backyard, front, front yard. yard. Oh, That's, yeah. It's simple, right? <laughs> you don't really have to explain anything, yeah. All right. This one, we're talking about the I tub. Think, I think the bath, yes. The bath, bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Yes. But you do say bath. Bath. You do, okay, you say bath. Bath. You say bath, but we also say bath. So when the water is running, right. so when you know it's time to add, you know, have a bath, we we say uh, run the bath. We say fill up the tub. <laughs> <laughs> fill it up with what? With water, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, that makes fill sense. Fill up the tub. Fill up the tub. Run the bath. Run the bath. Yes. Run the bath. Yes. Fill the tub. Fill the tub. Because, you know, when you're adding water into the bath, mm -hmm. the water's running. Oh, the water's running. So if I'm... Um, I'm water. <laughs> Shall we go on to the next Let's one? Let's do it. <laughs> the whole thing. Okay. I call this a bathroom. Bathroom? A bathroom. No, we call this toilet. Toilet. We go into the toilet. No, we use just, just the toilet for toilet. Oh, really? Just what you sit on is the toilet. Or we say, um, loo. Uh, why loo? When I was a kid, when I was very young, we would say, I can I go to the loo? Or maybe, it. maybe some people, like, again, they're very like, oh, I don't want to say, like, toilet, right? Yeah, so syllables, too many syllables. Too many. It's just Cut like, that in half. Let's do it, yeah. So we, we, we called it a loo. <laughs> called it a loo. And yeah, it's just pretty quick going to the loo. Outside the public bathroom is a restroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh god because there's no bath in there that's the whole reason <laughs> but like do americans like do they just like sleep everywhere <laughs> <laughs> this yes is in the bathroom or the kitchen of the toilet or the or it's the not in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> what do you call this <laughs> i call this faucet faucet how do you spell that f a u c e t faucet I can spell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call it a tap. A tap. Just tap. Oh, that works. Faucet, too many syllables again. Again. Tap is just tap Cut on that the tap. In half. Oh. <laughs> 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 and then if you're like drinking from their like kitchen or something, then you would call it just tap water. No, we call it tap water. So why don't you call it a tap? It's water coming from the tap. You 
America should start calling it tap. I'm moving to London. Yeah, you should do it. Just for... Just for the tap. Just for the tap water. That's this one, 100% sink. Okay. Right. But in the toilet, we call it... The toilet. The water. <laughs> water basin. You, you have to have two different sinks, right? One for washing dishes in the kitchen and the other for washing your hands in the toilet. So they're totally two different things. Wait, you wash dishes in the toilet? <laughs> You have the toilet bowl and you're just doing the dishes in there? No, <laughs> because we do the, obviously we do the dishes in the kitchen. Right, Which right. is why it's called a sink, because okay. that's where you wash the dishes. Nice. But when you're washing your hands in the, in the toilet, mm -hmm. it's called the water basin. <laughs> you got your hands in the toilet washing it now. That's what in I see. In there. In the bathroom. In that. In what the do you call the toilet <laughs> in the toilet? Toilet bowl. You call the whole thing a toilet bowl? Yeah, it's a toilet bowl. This is a sink in the kitchen. Yes. In America, it's also a sink in the bathroom. And the kitchen as well. Yes. Okay. And so you call it a sink in the kitchen yes. and a what? Water, water basin. Water basin. I want to go first with this one. This one is definitely a stove. A stove. A portable stove. Po uh, we, we call it a cooker. Because it cooks. It does cook, yeah. It cooks your food. You're right, it does and cook the food. And it's a cooker. What about the ones that are, you know, uh, you have different kinds of cookers? So the other one is... Gas stove. Um, electric, electric stove. Oh, okay. Just everything stove. So you would just, so you would call it, oh, I, I have an electric stove. Right. Or I have, like, a gas stove. Right. We just call it a cooker. Hmm, interesting. Next up, we have pronunciation. Yes, this is the fun part. This is fun. Let's look at the first word, shall okay. we? <laughs> and let's do it. let's do it at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Garage. garage. That was similar. Garage. You do garage. Garage. We do garage. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Say it over and over again. It doesn't make any sense, right? That's one of those words. Garage. 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 So it's like you enunciate the a, the second a. Right. Garage. You, yeah, I guess you can just put an apostrophe after G. Right? And then put R A G. Garage. 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 So we enunciate <laughs> the first A. Okay. That's Go ahead. Be careful. It's extremely hot. Be careful. It's extremely hot. Be careful. It's extremely hot. That was Be good, right? <laughs> That was real good. I got the tone and everything. Your voice goes so soft. I'm trying to, like, it, it's trying to do exactly what you're doing. Remember what I said. What do you say? We don't like pronouncing the R's. Oh. Ex be careful. Be careful. Perfect. Be careful. Be careful. It's extremely. It's ex. There's an R in there. But we, we, we will pronounce it. It's extremely. Hot. 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 <laughs> Hot. There's an O right in the middle of that Hot. word. Next up, <laughs> we ahead. have the land behind my house is fertile. The land behind my house is fertile. 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 Like there's a tile? There is a tile. T-I-L-E. Okay, so without the fur, F-E-R, mm -hmm. how would you pronounce it? Tile. Tur. <laughs> right? Tile. Yes, See? you're right. See? Let's look at the difference in grammar in this sentence specifically and See how we can generalize it. Okay. Let's look at it. <clears throat> I'll go first, if that's okay. Sure. Advertising is expensive and most likely would cost a lot. Hmm. Yeah. It's still English. I'll it's, allow you. It's still English. If we would say advertising is expensive and it's uh, most likely to cost a lot. Most likely to. Most likely to. And, most likely and would. It's most likely to cost a lot. So you change the whole sentence into a compound sentence. Yes. Now we we don't always put the second uh, subject in there. Yes. And we still know what it, we're talking about. Mm. So technically, this one right here is not a compound sentence. Yes. Um, but putting the subject in the second sentence would be. That's why you put its, and mm -hmm. it changes. It changes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. Oh, I cannot get over the fact that you call the bathroom a toilet. Because there's a toilet there. There is, a, there's also a sink there. There's also a tub there. There's also a water basin there, and there's also water a basin. bath <laughs> there. But I, I think it's weird how you would call it a restroom, if it's a public toilet. That is a little weird, that's, I, I, I mean, admit. You, know, you cannot rest, you know, that's, you cannot 
should not do that. I am Jason. Miguk Namja. And I am Mia. Yongu Kyoza. Woohoo!